Hi, Mudbrooker here. Today I'm going to try an experiment. Some of my commenters and viewers have asked if things like ammonia, citric acid, or lactic acid can be used for stripping cast iron and removing burnt on crud. Well, I don't really know, so the only way to find out is to give it a try. I have a couple of gallons of ammonia, some water, a cruddy pan, and a plastic tote, and we're going to see what happens. Now, ammonia solution, household ammonia, isn't really strong enough to cause skin burns, but it's still a good idea to have some sort of eye protection while you're splashing around in the stuff. And why this particular brand of ammonia is blue, I really don't know. But I'm going to mix up a half and half solution of ammonia and water, and hopefully I'll have enough to cover this pan. Hopefully I'll be done before it starts raining. But I'm going to pour that on there. I'm going to let this sit for 24 hours and see what happens. I really don't know what ammonia would do to the cast iron itself, but being an alkali, it should do a fairly good job of dissolving old grease and getting the crud off. But like I said, I don't know. And we're going to experiment a bit here and find out. And that's not quite enough to cover it. So, I'll give her a little more ammonia. half a gallon and let me fill up my water tub come on you I'm trying to do this one-handed my hose nozzles fighting me hang on okay having successfully defeated my reluctant hose nozzle I'm back still not quite enough to cover the end of the handle so I'll give it a whole gallon of water and a whole gallon of ammonia that's two gallons of each giving me a 50-50 mix of water and ammonia I'm gonna let this go for 24 hours cover it up ah, there's my cover lock the lid on and come back and see what happens later well, it's been a day, and let's see if this ammonia has done anything. What? I don't need you pushing on me. Anyway. Well, it seems to have rusted the handle a bit. Well, it has loosened the stuff a little. but it does definitely smell like ammonia and it's peeled that loose now this was cut 50-50 with water so I'm wondering if this would have worked a little better full strength let's see if it yeah soften that stuff up too I'll give her another couple of days and we'll come back and see what it does and I think I might try this one more time with straight ammonia, full strength, just to see what happens. I'll see you again in a couple of days. Alright, this is day two of this pan soaking in a 50-50 ammonia and water solution. And let's see what we got. Hmm. Let me give her a little scrape. Now this stuff was burned on very hard, but it does seem to be loosening it some. You can see it's bubbling loose on the edges there. You'll be able to see if I actually got it on camera. Flip it over. Now I said before it looked like it rusted it a little bit. But now that I think of it, I think it was rusted before, actually, so I don't think the ammonia is really doing anything to the iron. But, 
it is loosening that stuff up. So I'll let this go for another couple of days anyway. Set him back in there. But since this shows potential, what I'm going to do is throw my lid back on there a little bit. Take another pan and another tub. Now this little pan isn't ah, trying to reach for things. It isn't really deeply encrusted. But what I'm going to do is put some full strength household ammonia on there and see how that does. This is lemon scented ammonia, but honestly that's mostly just wishful thinking. It still smells like ammonia with the big lemony set. Blood, 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 blood. And these are half gallon jugs, so I might need two or three of them. Well, three or four. Two will get me pretty close. But I better hurry up, it's starting to sprinkle. Anyway, I'm going to cover this so that it's submerged and we'll let her soak in full strength ammonia and see how that goes. I'll be back in another day. Okay, the pan I've had soaking in the 50-50 ammonia has been three days now. And I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to scrape it off and give it a good rinse and see where we're at. It has loosened up a lot of this stuff and taken a fair bit of it off. There's still quite a bit left. Hose that off. Well, it was pretty heavily encrusted, but there's still quite a bit of stuff left on there. And it's been three days. Lie, this would have been down to bare metal by now. There's still a ways to go on this. I'll put her back in, we'll see how long it takes. Now the pan, the pan I put in the full strength ammonia has been soaking for about 24 hours. And we'll see where that one's at. This wasn't nearly as crusty as the other one. But that does seem to loosen her up. Not too bad. Still some pretty hard baked on stuff on there that hasn't really softened or loosened up yet. But it's only been 24 hours, so I'll put this back in. And I'll check back with you later and see where these are at. Alrighty then. It's been two weeks for the pan that's been soaking in the diluted ammonia solution. And a couple days less than that for the one that's been soaking in the full strength ammonia. And I'm going to finally call an end to this foolishness and see what we got. Still a little bit of hard stuff stuck to it. Seems to have liquefied that a little bit. Set him aside. And let's see what our full strength one did. That seems to have loosened it up pretty good. What I'm going to do, there's one final test left. I'm going to hose both of these off see where we're at, take them inside, give them a good scrubbing with soap and water, and see if there's any ammonia residue left on them. Once I got them scrubbed up, I'm going to throw them in the oven for a bit at 350, and the heat will definitely bring out any smell. So, I'm going to hose these off, 
and I'll see you inside. Alright, I scrubbed these up good, put them in the oven just to see if I got any ammonia smell out of them. And, no, the ammonia does wash clean, but as you can see, it doesn't work very well. It did take off a fair bit of the really burnt on stuff, but it also left, left quite a bit. If a pan was simply greasy, ammonia probably would work pretty good for a cleaner. You know, let it soak for about a week or so and scrub it off. Ammonia has a couple of advantages over lye. It's uh, safer to handle. You're not going to burn yourself with ammonia unless you have really sensitive skin. But, like I said, it isn't nearly as effective. It also has a disadvantage of the ammonia fumes. If you have asthma or reactive airway disease, something like that, a lung full of ammonia fumes could set off a very bad, possibly even life-threatening reaction. So, on the whole, I can't really recommend ammonia as a means of stripping cast iron. Like I said, it might work for a pan that was simply greasy and didn't have a lot of burnt on stuff, but it doesn't take off burnt on build up very well. Well, that wraps up this little experiment and we both hopefully learned something from it and I'll see you on the next video.